The four new fossil Pokemon in Generation 8, that's Dracozolt, Arctozolt, Dracovision, Arctovish, and that's how I choose to pronounce them, are all clearly designed as accidental chimerae. They are thrown together by the shoddy paleontologist Caroless, get it, from pairs of four different fossil fragments, none of which are reasonable matches. These four are thereby man-made Pokemon, albeit accidentally. It's a reference to the skeleton construction mistakes made by history's own paleontologists, and it makes for some interesting type combinations and some startling creature designs, because these parts obviously don't fit together. They're also the first Pokemon revived from fossils to not have the rock type, which lends credence to the possibility that revived Pokemon inherit the rock type via the rock their parts fossilized with, and their ancient monotype ancestors might not have been rocky. That's interesting. The four fossils you revive these new guys from in different combinations of two are each named after real animals, suggesting that they are each the remains of a unique species that existed historically, but is not a modern recognized Pokemon with a Pokedex number. I guess they're the earliest Dexit removals. In each case, the source fossil seems to have not had enough data to reconstruct the creature. We know about 50% of what each of these species would have looked like, because we see their halves in the modern guys. Except the Pokedex descriptions for each of the four describe how they are each an ancient species that met their extinction through being poorly adapted, or in two cases, too successfully adapted for this world. I mean, the Pokemon world. Where's the Pokedex information from? It's never confirmed quite how the Pokedex is written. Maybe it's Carolis making up her own story to justify the creatures she's built. Maybe the scientific consensus follows her. Maybe it doesn't, but she sure managed to score four modern Pokedex entries without peer review. If these species are the result of her incompetence or her whimsy, then they're down in the permanent numerical canon of Pokemon, the National Dex. They're each described at her behest, and the four implicit missing ancient species are not canon Pokemon. Kara's the best source on these. This is actually all the in-game data we have to go on. As much as Kara Liss is presented and named as obviously bumbling and unreliable, and as much as each of these species is clearly misshapen, the game does not directly address that. As certain as we can be that these are not four historical species revived from their disparate and overlapping halves, the game material states that they are. That's canon. The idea that they are not is fanon, or implicit canon, even though their bodies are made of these halves that can become other bodies. Unless the four implicit ancient species are revealed separately, they're not Pokemon, they're theories. There have been other unbelievable Pokedex entries, like those that refer to animal species, and the inherent climate change in most fire-type entries, so maybe you can't believe everything in the decks. But the only conflicting information on these four is implicanon, not yet canon. I don't seriously believe that these are intended as anything other than Carolus creations. It's just new to the franchise that we've had to consider this. There are other man-made species, some intentional, but that's communicated in their dex entries. These dex entries communicate how these monstrosities roamed the ancient world. Maybe in the long term this will demonstrate how new research can disprove earlier scientific consensus that science is a liar sometimes. For that, we'll have to wait and see, wait for new dex entries, because from what we're told by all the canon data presented, these are four historical species. So, uh, welcome to the modern world, guys!